segment is brought to you by Invisible Fence brand of Hampton Roads. Complete solutions for every pet. Today I'm here at First Landing State Park and I'm gonna enjoy a beautiful day with my puppy Arkes. Let me show you around. Jennifer, today is a beautiful day to come here to the park and enjoy with the dogs, with our babies. It really is a beautiful day, and this trail is our Cape Henry Trail. It is the longest trail we have in the park. It stretches from the entrance at Shore Drive all the way down to our 64th Street entrance. Jennifer, what kind of trails do you recommend for people, like especially for Arkev, that he's older and he doesn't like to do long walks anymore? Sure, so one of the things I really like about the park is there's lots of options with the length of trails. So one of our most popular is the Bald Cypress Trail. It starts right off from our trail center building uh, that's at the end of the entrance road here. And you can make it a mile long, you can make it two miles long. There's even an option to turn it in just to a quarter of a mile if it just becomes a little too much for um, the old tired legs. Some of the animals that you can see while you're out at the park are a lot of ones that people are pretty familiar with, like squirrels and rabbits, which is one of the reasons that it's really important to keep your dog on a leash, because lots of dogs like to go after those guys. But also sometimes you can see uh, foxes or raccoons, uh, more so when it gets a little closer to dark. Lots of birds around here. And what other activities we can do with our puppies? So besides the trails, we also have a mile and a half of beach on the Chesapeake Bay. We have several different visitor centers if you need to go inside and cool off for a moment. We have lots of programs for families and children here at the park, which dogs are welcome to attend as long as they're well behaved. But we do have some very important rules for them. The biggest being that they need to be on a leash. They need to be on a leash at all times that's no greater than six feet. And that's to protect our beautiful surroundings, the animals and the plants that are there, but also your pets as well as everybody's comfortableness because some folks are not real comfortable around other dogs and some dogs aren't comfortable around other dogs. So keeping uh, your dog on leash is very, very important when you're here in the park. So Jennifer, we also can do canoeing, kayaking here at the park. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we have a boat launch down at uh, our 64th Street end of the park. So people can bring boats or canoes, kayaks, paddle boards and launch from there. You can also uh, launch canoes and kayaks from our beach uh, on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, there's also local outfitters that do guided tours from the park. Weekdays or earlier in the morning or later in the day are, are better because we do get very busy on weekends when the weather is nice and it's summer. If you're bringing your own equipment um, to go uh, and kayak or paddleboard or with a boat, then you can come anytime that the park is open, uh, which is 7 a.m. in the morning till dusk, so right after sunset. Um, if you wanted to do one of the local outfitters, you'd have to reach out to one of them and, and schedule an event. Well, thank you so much, Jenny. For is there any more information that people can find for First Landing State Park? Absolutely. They can go to virginiastateparks.gov and find out more information about First Landing or the other 40 state parks in Virginia. Great. I have a great time today at first landing. Be sure to go outside with your puppies and enjoy the weather.